Hey everyone, in this 4 minute videos for developers, we are going to see how to create or update a key value map in API runtime. That means during the API processing that is happening in RPG Edge. Myself, Anil Sagar, I work at Google and RPG platform. Prerequisites for this video, you need RPG Edge account, you can sign up at rpg.com slash edge. You need basic understanding of API G API proxy, for that you can refer earlier 4 minute video. As you know, RPG Edge sits in between the client and the backend system. In this particular use case, we are trying to take uh, values from the API call and uh, creating a key value map entry in RPG Edge before we send the request uh, to the backend. So once we store this particular key value map using KVM policy, we might be using it for various uh, purposes like retrieving in the response or request uh, in future calls. So in this particular example, we're going to take the query parameters and we're going to populate a uh, key value map in RPG Edge using KVM policy. Let's see that in action. As you can see here, I'm logged in into RPG Edge under RPG 4 mv 4 erc Let's create an API proxy. Click on API proxies and uh, click on API proxy button. I'm going to name this uh, API proxy as uh, KVM create update demo proxy base path as slash v1 slash kvm iphone cu demo use the existing api as a simple mock api http bin dot org slash get click next choose authorization pass through and choose the defaults and uh, build and deploy the api proxy once the api proxy is deployed go to the develop screen to add the kvm policy before that, uh, let's take a look at the existing key value maps and entries. Click on uh, admin, click on environments. As you can see here in the test environment, we have only kvm underscore store one, which has different key value maps. Let's create a new store as well as key value maps in the runtime. So what I'm going to do is uh, in the proxy that we created, click on preflow, click on plus step and add key value map operations. So we're going to remove everything except uh, put using which we're going to make uh, an entry into key value maps. So add map identifier next to key value map operations at the end. So map identifier is equal to kvm underscore store underscore two. So we are going to create a new category that holds uh, key value maps and uh, override true that means if an existing key is found it is going to override the value that we are giving so we're going to take the parameter from query parameter request dot uh, query param dot uh, kvm name similarly value we're going to read from query parameter kvm value so what we are trying to do is we are trying to take uh, the query parameter kvm name as a key value map name and query parameter kvm value as a kvm value for this particular entry. So let's save it and see it in action. Go to trace, click on start, start trace session. Let's make an API call. So I'm going to make an API call with question mark uh, kvm name is equal to hello and uh, kvm value is equal to both. So we should see a new key value map entry with this particular name, hello and value word once the API executes properly. Let's make the API call. As you can see here in the trace, the key value map got executed and we should uh, have a new KVM entry. Let's refresh the screen in the test environment. As you can see here, now there is a key KVM underscore store two and the new key with hello and word. Let's one, make one more call, foo bar now we should have two entries once i refresh the screen here there you go now we have foo and bar also as a key value map inside kvm store too so that's how you can able to populate the key value maps in the api runtime using uh, kvm policy if you have any questions please feel free to post your questions in community.apshi.com Subscribe to YouTube channel to get notified if any future videos and uh, help spread the word. Thank you.